Welcome to Inside Skyhawk Football with Coach Jason Simpson. I'm Chris Brinkley. Tennessee Martin coming off the win over Austin P this past weekend. Coach, a big game for you and the seniors to go out with a victory. Well, uh, well, it was. I mean, uh, we didn't. We had a bad taste in our mouth in the week before up at East Illinois. So it was good to get back at home and uh, you know finish the season out on a good note and get ready to go into recruiting and then it's, and then into the off season. We're gonna watch a game film in just a second. But coach, you really got off to a fast start in that game, and I know that helped. A lot. Well, we did. I mean, because Austin P is one of those teams that they you know they're trying to get you to the fourth quarter with a chance to win and and they and they do enough on special teams and defense to usually have a chance to win those games in the fourth quarter but our kids responded we made some plays down the field our defense played uh, you know really well early and uh, you know and, and that's exactly what they didn't want for us to get a big lead because they're not a throwing football team and uh, you know and we were able to get after them a little bit okay we're gonna watch a game film UT Martin and Austin P right here Skyhawks taking on Austin P. Coach, it was mid-November, but boy, you had warm summer-like weather, I guess, early in the season. It game. really was. What a great day, and uh, sun was shining, and uh, you know, that's, I think it's when the Skyhawks hit the field, it makes the sun, sun shy. But it was bright with our bright orange uniforms and senior day at Graham Stadium, and here we go with the kickoff. Again, the Skyhawks taking on Austin P. the final game of the season for both teams. Their kicker did a nice job, nice height there, you know, but we do have a nice return here, Tevin, our true freshman, and good blocking, and you know, gets us out there to the 40-yard line, and you know that's what you're looking for is you know change the field position. 31-yard return for Barksdale. Here's Cade Thompson passing the football to Brandon Young. You know, first play they they, they blitz us. Cade does a nice job checking the ball down in the back and getting a, picking up a first down and and uh, giving us some breathing room. And again, similar play again to Brandon Young. It's a third down there, and uh, he checks it back down in the back. That's a big conversion right there. It's third and nine, and you check it down to your back and pick up the first down. That's that's uh, really a backbreaker for a defense. Alex getting off to a fast start, and Kay Thompson this time finding Shiver. You know, old, old Shiver, Stephen's been real consistent for us and turned himself into a playmaker on this offense, and, you know, the best thing about him is he's only a sophomore. Here's Miguel Barnes with the football. A little stretch play, good job there by Joe Gibbs and Jeremy Buchanan on the edge, on the stretch, and... Uh, you know, Miguel Barnes uh, finding the crease and getting the ball in the end zone. Eight play, 60 yard drive. Tennessee Martin scores to take a 7 nothing lead. And that's the fast start we were talking about. And then the defense is going to help you out on this play. You know, the, this is not something they do real well is throw the ball. And there's Marquis Guy, I think, picking up his third interception of the year. And, uh, you know, that's great. Get the ball back to the offense on the plus side of the field. And, um, you know, you couldn't ask for a better start. Marquis played for the uh, Westview Chargers on this field in his final game at Graham Stadium with the Skyhawks. Here's Miguel Barnes. Nice little stretch play there. And, uh, you know, that's just a well executed play right there. And Miguel really, um, you know, hitting it up in there and getting physical and getting down the hill. Austin P shuts us down on the third down attempt, and then here's a the field goal. Yeah, nice job there by Tom Hansen. Hadn't had much success this year in the field goal department, but he uh, made two on the day, and those are big momentum uh, builders for us. The Alex take a 10 0 lead still early in the first quarter. Austin P back with the ball. Here's a third and two situation. Ryan White giving it to. You know, Carlos Jones and Josh Bay, and, uh, you know, really made it hard to run against us on the day. And here's another attempt to run the football. You know, Brandon Cox there from the nose, making a play, and and uh, he's, a, he's a senior force, really made himself into a, a good backup role player for us. It's time to pass over to Holt. You know, fourth and sixth play, they try to get it to their playmaker, and, and our defense rallies and gets a stop, and uh, that's big to get our offense back on the field. Skyhawks back with it. Boy, Brandon Young, a big run here. Yeah, that's our, you know, that's our... Uh, signature play or down and round outside zone scheme and we're in the gun and uh, you know boy Brandon really reads those blocks well and once again running behind Joe Gibbs and Jeremy Buchanan are tied in. Kay Thompson will find Buchanan here. You know Jeremy's kind of got a knack this is two years in a row the last uh, game of the season he showed up in our passing game so uh, we got to get him just doing it uh, on our uh, the first 10 games. Nice off tackle play there by Miguel Barnes and picking up the first down and you know we're kind of really taking control of the game at this point. First and goal for the Skyhawks, Kay Thompson lets it fly. A nice little sluggo, a slant and go and Mike turns the, the DB around and uh, makes a one-handed catch and you know that's the Mike Hicks that uh, you know that, that that when he's healthy he's as good as anybody in the country. Watch him pull this one in. You know, that's against a good DB there, Kivas Buckley, and he gets the interception later on, and uh, he, he's a good player. 17-0, still first quarter. Tennessee Martin with a big lead. Here's Terrence Holt. You see there, there's um, Carlos Jones making a big stop right there, and 
uh, getting off the block, and that's good to see. And Carlos is a sophomore and be back for two more years with us, and if he could really pick his game up, I think he could be a, a dominant defense lineman in this league. Chris Murray with the sack. You know, Chris is a guy that uh, we had high expectations for, and at times he reached them, but uh, we, we, we raised the bar, and we expect him to, you know, be consistent every game. Going to the second quarter now, Tennessee Martin with a lead. There's Barnes. You know, nice off tackle play, same old stretch play we've been running, and uh, Miguel uh, really sees that hole real well. Kay Thompson looking for Mike Hicks. You know, nice vertical route there. We caught him in the cover two, and Mike gets a good outside release, and, and then there you see, uh, you know, Kay make a nice throw and catch. Kay Thompson again. You know, nice job here. I mean, these are real backbreakers for defenses where you you cover the deep balls down the field and he gets it to the fullback in the flat and you pick up 10 yards and keep the drive going. Jay Thompson finishes again this time to Shiver. You know, those are nice throwing catches off the play action and Shiver, you know, finds a soft spot in the zone and Cade finds him. After a penalty, Cade's going to get it in the end zone. Look at that double clutch. That was a nice pump fake there and Shiver runs a good corner route and that's, uh, that's executed really well. Watch it one more time. You know, that's, that's a nice job and good route and, um, you know, that's a lot of confidence. They're from the same high school, played together a couple years, uh, Shiver and Cade did. 24-0, Tennessee Martin with a lead now in the second quarter on the kickoff. Well, hold on to your hat when you kick it to this guy and, uh, you know, he's just very explosive player and, uh, you know, when you kick it to him, you, you, you know, you're rolling the dice to see if he's going to score a touchdown or at least get it back on the plus side of the field. Very dynamic player. Back with it, Austin Peay. You know, bad tackling right there. I mean, we just really lost our focus and safety didn't fit right and you missed tackles, uh, you know, you're going to give up big runs. 24-7 now as Austin Peay gets on the board here of the Skyhawks. Yeah, we kind of lost, you know, lost a little bit of our rhythm right here. Kate leaves that ball a little bit inside and the receiver's got to, the unique's got to, you know, they got to make that catch and take that ball from the DB and, you know, credit to our defense here. We go back out here and, you know, uh, trying to get a stop. Josh Bay with the tackle on Holt. And Ryan with the pass. Dropped. You know, sometimes, you know, you need you need some of those things to happen to you and you, uh, you, you know to, to turn the momentum. First and ten, Skyhawks with the football. You know, ball a little bit behind Shiver and he goes back and gets it and you know picks up seven yards on first down. We'll have to punt it away this time. You know, worried about our protection, worried about our coverage with the dynamic returner, and we get the fair catch and and uh, you know try to change field position. Austin P again giving it to Holt. You know, nice play there. You see uh, uh, Brandon Cox once again from the nose position making some plays. Austin P quarterback Ryan tries to pass the ball to Holt. Getting some push inside. It's really hard for him to step up, step into the pocket, and there's and there's uh, you know Eddie. Uh, coming in from the safety position, making a nice hit, knocking the ball loose. So the Skyhawks get it back. Second down, two to go. Brandon Young with the carry. You know, second two, we caught him in a field blitz, and we run the power into the boundary, the short side of the field, and uh, you know, nice crease, nice push by the offensive line, and and uh, big pickup for Brandon. Your senior to senior, Thompson to Anoka. You know, same route that we hit uh, Shiver on, uh, you know, earlier, and. Dexter makes a big pickup and wish could have kept his feet and you know, Mike could have got that one in. Skyhawks leading it and Austin P back with the football. You know, and boundary blitz there from our corners and uh, Aaron Hyde coming off the edge, him and Tim Cox and you know, getting a, a nice stop there on fourth down. And stingy defense throughout the first half. And the Skyhawks here. There we go, the nice toss in the boundary, and once again we caught him in one of those uh, zone blitzes from the field, and it makes him a hat short, a man short in the boundary, and uh, we were able to get a nice, nice run. Halftime approaches, and the score is still 24 to seven. Tennessee Martin leading Austin P. Let's go to the third quarter. Austin P. with the football. Big possession here in the second half. They've got the ball, and you know that was a mistake on our part. They caught us in cover two, and they hit the little drag route there, and. Linebacker didn't come back down and match the coverage, and you know they've got a little drive going, and we got to get a stop, and you know that's a big third down to get them to fourth and long. There's a tackle from Josh Bay. You know, and they kicked the field goal and make it, and uh, you know, but we got to stop, and you know at this point still you know keeping the momentum up up by uh, two two touchdowns. Austin P hanging in there at this point in the third quarter, 24-10. The Skyhawks with a lead. Tennessee Martin back with it to Brandon Young. You know, there's Brandon, you know, little zone play there, and uh, you know, 
able able to really reel, reel off some you know 15 and 20 yard runs, which uh, can you know really demoralize the defense. And then Ladarius Davis steps up for Austin P. Yeah, this was a little play action for us here, and Cage got to see that corner dropping out of there and cover three. It was kind of a throwback, and they covered it well, and we got to just throw that ball away. Austin Peay comes back, trying to stage a comeback, almost an interception. Nah, Marquis, you got to get that one for us. I mean, that's six all over. Made a nice drive on the ball, and, um, you know, he's really starting to play his best football. I hate that his senior, and that was his last game. Second and ten for Austin Peay. we we'll play action in the flat, and uh, defense covered it well, and, you know, anytime you can get a non-throwing football team to third and long, you've got a good opportunity to make some stops. Skyhawks here third and long in a you know, tough situation, but you know, Kate Thompson comes through. You know, man coverage, they try to cover some man coverage, and you know, uh, Steven Shiver gets off of the, the bump and run, and Kate finds him over the middle for a big third down conversion. Here's Miguel Barnes now with the nine yard pickup. And like I said, you know, you're, you're saying eight and nine yard gains instead of the one and twos, and uh, you know, that's, that, that sets you up to where you can run or pass throughout the series. Hey Thompson again connecting with Anoka. Nice little play action in the flat. Thought Dexter was going to be able to get it in here. Just comes up a little short. You got to reach that ball out there and, and get it in for us. And even from there, Coach, we couldn't get it in the end zone and had to kick the field. Yeah, that was pretty, uh, you know, that was pretty embarrassing to be quite honest with you. We had some, some missed things happen, but uh, Tom comes in and makes the field goal and that's good to see him, uh, you know, contribute. Skyhawks taking the lead now 27 to 10. Still in the third quarter. Final game of the season for both teams at Graham Stadium and Austin P back with it, third and eight. Getting some pressure on the quarterback, not really, really letting him step into the throws and, uh, you know, make a nice throw and catch there, but, you know, really nothing's easy for them. They're really having to execute to be able to get a first down. Gov's give it to Holt. Man, you know. quick. Yeah, he really is, and, uh, you know, I think they reel off a couple runs here in a row on us and uh, kind of get themselves back in the game. Just Holt with another 10 yard pickup. You know, we've got him hemmed up, we just got to make the tackle right there. So, you know, now they've cut it to 10, and, um, you know, this is this has kind of been their pattern all year is, is to get down and to come back and fight. 27 17 the score. Look at this play from Katie Thompson to McKinnon. You know, run the vertical routes there, and they double coverage our outside guys, and they, they leave our tight end open middle of the field. And, you know, when Jeremy's had several opportunities throughout the year to make this big catch, and, uh, you know, Kay finally gets the ball to him, and uh, Jeremy does a nice job. And Kay punctuates the play by getting it into the end zone here to Kenny Jones. Yeah, nice little um, play action pass there, and uh, on a third down, crucial down a distance there, and, uh, you know, it's good to see us execute here. You know, we've been running the ball effectively, so when you run the ball, that gives you an opportunity to throw that fullback in the flat, and that's what we did. 34 to 17, UT Martin leading it still in the third quarter, and the Skyhawk defense steps up. You know, nice hit there, and big Darius Dow goes up and gets the uh, gets the interception. That'd be his last college football game, and so that'd be something he remembers, uh, you know, forever. Is getting that interception. He's sitting there <laughs> celebrating, and uh, that's fun to see the guys having a good time. I don't blame him. We got to be excited too. Look at that tip up, and he knew right where it was. Yeah, Chris Murray getting the hit, and um, I think that might have been the last play for the quarterback at that point. 34-17, the Skyhawks leading it as we go into the fourth quarter. Back with it, first and ten, UT Martin. Little play action, double post here, and they take away the top shelf post, and he, uh, Cade comes back down to Mike Hicks, and uh, you know it's a big pickup there, and uh, that's that's nice throw and catch. 31 yards for Hicks on the pickup, and Cade's going to find him one more time here. Here we run a little smash route and delay. We bring Mike back underneath on what we call our tablespoon route, and uh, you know nice throw and catch, and Mike extending and getting in, and. Uh, you know, that's, that's, that's fun to see those, those two seniors connect. Yeah, he's so tall, he just falls right into the end zone. Yeah, he's long, he really is. 41-17, to 17, the Skyhawks with a big lead in the fourth quarter, and you certainly had control of the final game of the season. Austin P back with it. Jake Ryan, big sack. That's Tim Cox there. Uh, Tim's been hurt most of the year, and... Uh, you know, really lost a lot of weight, uh, unfortunately. We got to get him back in the weight room and get some more weight back on him, but he's a great young man. Look forward to his senior year next year. Jake Ryan comes back and completes this pass. You know, just a, a blown coverage right there. Uh, Kendall Harper's got to carry that number two receiver a little bit more and uh, something we got to fix. And there's the big sack from Josh Bay. Yeah, I mean, I think Josh Bay had 16 sacks, I mean, 16 tackles on the day, and, you know, he's a guy that he doesn't just get tackles. I mean, he physically, uh, hurts people when he tackles them, and so, uh, you know, he'll be back for his senior year, and we expect big things out of him. 
And another sack on the same drive. There's Chris Murray coming in off the edge, and so I guess that was two on the day for him. And you know, I expect him to be a double-digit sack guy. Okay, Thompson going for the big play to Mike Hicks. And I think that was the, the record right there. A little smash route, and he needed 20 yards, and I believe he got 38. And um, you know, so Kay's now the all-time leading pass yards leader here at UT Martin. Kay gives it to Miguel Barnes. And that's a good-looking football play there. It really is. And. Uh, you know, Miguel over 100 yards for the day, and um, you know he, he he had a good career here as well. He takes it into the end zone for the touchdown, and that'll be the final score there, 48-38. As we watch it one more time, UT Martin winning over Austin P. The final at Graham Stadium on Saturday afternoon. And you mentioned uh, Kay Thompson again becoming the all-time passing leader, breaking Brady Wahlberg's letter uh, record. But what a big, what a big career for Kay Thompson in a big day. I mean, he broke the record in the fourth quarter of his final game. I, like I said, didn't know if he had much of a chance because he had to throw for like 368 to, to able to get there. And uh, you know, I believe he had 378 on the on the game. So, a uh, tribute to him. Great young man. Enjoyed coaching him, and he's just a fine representative of our university. Skyhawks win over Austin P. Coach, overall, an up and down season. You certainly had your highlights, but there were some disappointments along the way too. Well, there was. I mean, and uh, you know, and that's that's uh, that's going to happen. I mean, that's going to happen. So I mean, I wish I could sit here and tell you that every year we're going to win seven, eight games in the conference, and that's our goal and that's our expectations. And you know, we won't won't change from that. But uh, unfortunately, you're going to have some years where some things don't fall into place, whether it be injuries or uh, kids don't come back to school, or you know, you, you don't quite ha have the. Uh, you know the execution that you're that you're looking for, but uh, no, we're not satisfied with that, and uh, we got some things to improve on and, and get ready for next year. Coach, and there was a time when we would have been satisfied with the season. <laughs> I tell you, uh, what happens between now and the beginning of the spring practice? Well, I mean, this is you know this is the first quarter of the 2010 season right now. You know, we're in that uh, you know we've been recruiting all along since uh, last May. And so now you move on to that uh, evaluation is almost over. Now December 1st comes the contact period where we actually go to homes and sit down and visit with these recruits and uh, tell them what a great place UT Martin is and then get them on campus in January. Uh, at that time, our, our current players are already on campus working out and conditioning, getting ready for spring ball. And, and so it's a perpetual cycle of 365 days of Skyhawk football. Okay, Coach, I know some of the fans might miss watching Inside Scholar Football with Coach Jason Simpson, but he's got an open-door policy, and you can come and hang out with him in the office at the Bob Carroll Building. Well, anytime, then, especially if you got some ideas to, uh, uh, to, 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 to get us back up in, you know, at the OBC Championship. I want to show you listening. a trick play we used to do in my backyard when I was in high school. That's going to do it for Inside Skyhawk Football with Coach Jason Simpson. I'm Chris Brinkley. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys.